Well, a celebratory day turned into a terrifying moment for one Houston woman. She says she was poisoned after touching a napkin. Her story has gone viral and she wants to raise awareness about what happened. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle spoke with her and joins us tonight with her story. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, uh, Rashi and Jonathan. The woman says that she all she could do was think about her family when this happened and she wants to share her experience with other people. Meanwhile, police at Houston, the police department and the DEA, the local office says that they've never heard of an incident like this before. Physically, I'm OK, but emotionally, I mean, mentally, I'm not like I don't even want to go anywhere by myself. Erin Mims was celebrating her birthday with her husband at a restaurant Tuesday. They were headed to a spa when she noticed a napkin wedged in the passenger door handle of her car. This isn't the actual napkin, but I just wanted to give you all an idea of how it was sticking out the door handle. I didn't think none of it. I just took it and, and threw it out. But then I opened the door with the tips of my fingers. Um, and I got in and I asked him, did you put a, a napkin in the door? And he was like, no. She decided to go back into the restaurant and wash her hands. After leaving, she said she knew something was wrong. And maybe like five minutes, my whole arm started tingling and started feeling numb. And then I couldn't breathe. I started getting high flashes. My chest was hurting. My, I started, my heart was beating really fast. They drove to the nearest hospital where doctors ran urine samples, blood tests, and CAT scans. Doctor came in and he told me, you know, um, it wasn't enough in my system to determine what it was, but it was acute poisoning from, you know, an unknown substance. Her doctors told her it sounded like a failed kidnap attempt. Without knowing the details of her toxicology report, local poison control expert Mark Winter says her symptoms match hundreds of different poisons, even though the exposure was minimal. When it comes to the human body, I've learned over my 40 years, anything is possible when it comes to the human body. The, the probability is, is that you would have to have a lot more than just, a, I'm going to call it casual uh, exposure. What happened to her is still unknown, but her story has reached millions online. She's hoping she can save someone else from having a terrifying moment. Who's just on a night out. People have been, been coming and saying it. They've been seeing it. So just, I just want everybody to be careful. Now, the Poison Center also said that Erin did the right thing by washing her hands immediately and seeking medical attention. We reached out to the restaurant to see if they had heard anything from other patrons that night or if they had surveillance video that could help with the investigation, but we have not heard back from them. Reporting from HPD, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.